Maximus back with another movie review. Today we're going to take a look at another DC animated film, and it is The Justice League, Gods and Monsters. Definitely cool. If you don't know what Gods and Monsters is, it's the latest DC animated original film, and this is kind of a pet project of Bruce Timm, who is most uh, widely known for uh, Batman the Animated Series. He also worked on the Justice League, and he's kind of the key player in all of the DC animated uh, universe films. So... That means this is pretty damn cool. Um, I really like this. Uh, I watched, I think it was on, oh, I want to say the Batman vs. Robin. They were talking about this. And uh, I know I saw it on YouTube. There was an interview with Bruce Timm, and he basically had the idea of taking the three main Justice League characters, Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, and reimagining them. What do you mean, reimagine them, you ask? Well, his big thing was, uh, you know, kind of the Silver Age of comics. Uh, the main superheroes got reinvented. Uh, well, actually, he talked about it in an interview where the characters from the Silver Age, like uh, Green Lantern and the Flash, uh, Hawkman, uh, a lot of these characters got retooled. Basically, they kept the name, but the person who was the character became someone else, and the powers were changed ever so slightly, and, and he wanted to do that with basically the entire DCU, um, which is really, really cool. So uh, this is his take on a refresh, retooled look at the main big three. And if you don't want to know anything about this, you better stop watching because I want to talk about the film itself. But before we actually talk about the film, let's look at the exclusive uh, Wonder Woman uh, figure set and see what we think. And here we have the Justice League Gods and Monsters box set. This is the exclusive set that comes with the Blu-ray, the DVD, the digital HD, and it's got a Wonder Woman figure in it, which is really cool. This is very similar to the box set that we got uh, for uh, the Dark Knight Returns, where it's kind of got the box and it's got a small figure, exclusive figure inside of it. And then, of course, it's got the Blu-ray. So, yeah, I'm definitely liking it. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I like the artwork and, well, I like the fact that we got a figure. Um, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. All right, so here's what we get in the packaging. Um, we've got the movie itself. Here's the box that it comes in, just kind of a close-up. It's the same artwork that we get on the disc itself, which is pretty cool. Definitely digging it. Um, that on the side. Here's the back. There's the little write-up of what's going on. If you want to pause and read it, you can. Here's all the stuff on the side. Yeah, definitely cool. Here's the Blu-ray itself. Um, got this nice kind of glossy cover. This is what every single other one looks like uh, for the Blu-ray. And then the DVD is uh, very similar. In fact, I think the DVD just kind of looks like this. Again, it's just like everything else that we've ever seen uh, with Blu-ray releases, all that stuff. Here is the Wonder Woman figure, and she's actually really, really cool. Um, I can get it to focus here. Focus. There it is. Very good likeness. It's got that very Justice League uh, Unlimited look to it, and she has humongous eyes. Yes, that's it. <laughs> um, I do like the detail on the figure itself. She is on a little stand. She does not come off of that stand. Uh, she is pretty much permanently on that stand, uh, which uh, it's okay. It is what it is sort of deal. Definitely cool. I like the detail. Unfortunately, she does not come with her sword. I think that's a little bit unfortunate, uh, but she's about the same kind of figure that we got with the Dark Knight Return set. So let's actually go ahead and compare that figure to her. So here we have the Dark Knight Returns Joker and Batman next to Wonder Woman. And wow, these guys are covered in lots of dust. I need to clean these guys. But as you can tell, they're the same kind of figure. They're kind of stuck on that little black base. They do have some arm movement, uh, which is uh, pretty cool, but I never really move them. I just use them as little plastic statues, actually, sitting on top of my TV. But yeah, overall, I really like it. I like how tall she is. Um, you know, while she's not an Amazon, she is one of the new gods, which is really cool. I mean, she's just huge. Um, very, very cool. Definitely dig it. Oh, hey, how you doing? That's about the perfect size. Uh, um, wait. Wait, we know what's going on. Uh, 
Uh, definitely cool. I like these little sets. Um, now, they are going to put out a series of figures from DC Collectibles for Wonder Woman, Batman, and Superman from this film. I believe that Big Bad Toy Store has them on pre-order, and I think they're coming out next month. So definitely check out Big Bad Toy Store. Um, I'll put a link in the description down below. If uh, you're interested in getting those figures, I'll pop those there uh, so that you can get a pre-order for them. Definitely cool stuff. And just for fun, here is the Gods and Monsters Wonder Woman next to the Lego Superman from the Batman Lego movie. So the movie. What did I think of the movie? I actually really do like it. It is very dark and it's very, very brutal. It is PG-13 for violence throughout, yeah, and uh, suggestive content, mm -hmm. including nudity. And yeah, I think that's platinum uh, when she shows up. But yeah, uh, I, you know, I like it. I like the different origins. I like... Um, where the characters come from and uh, again if you don't want to know anything stop watching this video because I'm going to talk about it but it's not really spoilers because if you are a Batman, uh, a Superman, a DC animated movie, a Bruce Timm fan you already know these because well one, uh, they've talked about this in featurettes, they've got them on YouTube um, promoting this and uh, there's some really nice animated shorts uh, which I'll put links to. So yeah um, I love the fact that Zod, it's the son of Zod. Um, I like how it's Man Bat. I like how Wonder Woman is uh, the granddaughter of High Father. Um, they're very different, they're very aggressive. Uh, Batman's the least aggressive, and he's a vampire, which is kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it all works really, really well. Uh, so the base plot of this movie is they're getting framed, they're getting set up. Uh, we find out at the end who it is that's actually setting them up. Uh, which is not what I was expecting until we get to that point in the film. Lex Luthor has a really, really good uh, role in the movie. Um, he kind of becomes this, we see him, uh, his physical body degrade through the film, but uh, his mind kind of goes up a bit, which is interesting in, in how and where he goes toward the end of the film. Um, I really hope they make a sequel to this because this was awesome. Now, I'm really upset that they did not put the um, shorts on this. There are a couple other um, animated pieces on here. There's the New Gods featurette. Uh, there's Calculated Risks. Uh, the Making of Gods and Monsters featurette. Alternate Realities and the infin uh, Infinite Possibilities featurette. Uh, but, yeah, I just I wish they would have put the three on there. But I'm going to put a link to those here at the end. I did not render this in 3D, so I don't know how it would look. Um, it does come with the Blu-ray, like I said, the DVD, the digital HD download. Um, I just wish it came with the three Chronicle episodes. I think that'd be really cool. And actually, why don't we get a series out of this? That would be so awesome. If nothing else, on X, uh, a Machina, or Machina, Machina, Anime, Machina, or whatever that, uh, animated, uh, YouTube channel is, uh, I think that'd be really, really cool. Um, definitely something to think about, DC. So do I recommend this? Absolutely. If you are a diehard DC fan, uh, you're going to love this. If you loved the old uh, Batman animated uh, stuff, the old Justice League stuff and Unlimited stuff, you're really going to like this. If you're a Bruce Timm fan, you're definitely going to like this. Now, I do not recommend this for kids at all. Um, it is violent. It is bloody. It is sexual. And there are curse words. Um, it, I, I don't know how this didn't get rated R, to be honest. They must have just hit that line of what's acceptable and not acceptable. It is a dark film, but it's definitely cool. So, yeah, I highly recommend this. In conclusion, like I said, I really do recommend this movie. I think this is a really cool collectible set. Uh, if you don't want the full set here, this went for, I think it was $24.99 at Best Buy. Um, you can get just the Blu-ray version or just the DVD. The Blu-ray version, I think, is about $18, and the regular DVD is about $15. I think it's $14.99 or $15.99. So you've got your option to choose from, uh, from the different sets. I personally like the ones that come with the figure. I think that's a little bit cooler. This is available as of today, the day this was recorded and uploaded. Um, it's available at Best Buy, it's available at Target, Walmart. Go out, pick what you like. Uh, they are out there. And like I said, if you're an adult 
uh, fan of DC Comics and uh, the DCU from uh, Bruce Tim. Yes, absolutely go get it. But be forewarned, like I said, the language, uh, the gore, the violence, definitely not for kids. But all around, definitely cool stuff. Now, like I said, for some reason, they did not include the three animated shorts that they had made uh, and released this month on YouTube. Uh, They are so awesome. Why they didn't put those on the disc set, I really don't know. But if you want to watch them, I'm going to put a link to them here. They're very, very cool. I highly recommend going to watch them. Um, We've got The Bomb for Superman, which is the Gods and Monsters Superman versus the Gods and Monsters uh, Brainiac. And it's a very, very powerful uh, short. Uh, Twisted is the Batman short, and it's Batman versus the Gods and Monsters Harley Quinn. And oh, I love this one. This is probably my favorite, and I really hope they come out with a Harley toy. Uh, definitely cool. And the final one is Big for Wonder Woman. It's this version of Wonder Woman versus Giganta uh, in the Gods and Monsters universe and has uh, Trevor in it as well. So definitely cool stuff. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel, sharing my videos. I do appreciate it. And as always, Look for more videos in the future.